Hi friends, it's Shilpia and today I'm here to share with you all a gorgeous mini album that I created. Um, but before I go into my mini, um, I just want to give a couple of shout outs. Um, first one is to a lovely lady and she is in, um, she's not in the UK and she's from the Netherlands. Um, her name is Marijke van Ugen, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong but she's just so, so wonderful and creative and I've been friends with her on Facebook for a while and um, I just love everything she's about. Her style is so unique and I have actually got her on Facebook here. So this is um, her Facebook page. I'll put a link um, to her Facebook and her blog below and also she does have a YouTube channel and I'm just gonna try to get her on YouTube. So this is her on YouTube. I'll put that link below as well. And this is her gorgeous blog. And I'll put the link to that as well below for you guys. So what I did, um, I got um, inspired by Va, who is Bianca4430 here on YouTube. Hey Va. And Va used some of Mary K's um, images to create a fabric book. And what I did, I also asked Marjorie if I could use her images and she said definitely yes. She gave me the go ahead because she's just such a sweetheart. So thank you so much for that. Um, I just love her style, her images are just gorgeous and Va did an amazing, amazing job with um, a couple of um, fabric journals that she made, one for herself and one for Annie. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make myself one as well. Um, but I made it into like a proper mini. Um, it's not all fabric. Um, but it is gorgeous. So um, please check out the links below. I'll put Vaz's link below as well. You can check out Vaz's um, fabric journals that she made. And um, if you do want to use any of her images or um, anything from her sites, please ask permission before you do so. Um, she's just a sweetheart, she's um, very, very talented and, you know, if you do use anybody's anything, please, you know, do give them a shout out and um, mention them uh, because, you know, it's only just right, isn't it? So thank you so much, Marishke, for your images and thank you, Va, for the inspiration. And here is my mini and it was supposed to be six by six, but it's grown a bit, so it's just less than an eight by eight. And I have used a ton of lace, bridal appliques, vintage lace, some antique pieces. Most of the flowers are handmade by myself. A few are that I bought, a few that are gifted. But all the flowers in this uh, mini are fabric. There are no paper flowers. The only paper element to this mini is the actual structure which is all chipboard the cover and the back and the spine is wood and the inside pages you'll see the only paper element is where I've mounted <coughs> excuse me the photo and the mat so I'll go through those you can see she's so cute so Marish K is all about teddies and mice and just all things nice and you just have to go and check her out and um, you can see her blog as well, so I'll put the link below. So, um, she's totally like vintage shabby chic style and that's what I wanted to go for with my mini. So, there's a lot to show you guys. I'm just going to get stuck in and tell you what I've done. <clears throat> I started off by making the cover and then putting the bare pages in. And then I got my big box of all the odds and ends that I keep that are larger than six inches and I use most of those because um, I don't throw any of my large pieces away at all. They're really good for flowers, putting behind flowers, for edges. So I use a lot of those and then I also got out my um, bridal appliques um, that I've been collecting over the past couple of years <clears throat> and also some of my Oolala vintage treasure flowers. And I just decided to lay things on and as I was laying things on, things got covered but that didn't matter because, um, you know, it just all gives to the effect um, of the whole thing. So um, I put a large layer of lace, this is the front, 
I show you the back so you'll know more of my layering. So there's a good few layers. There's um, a wide layer of this white fabric, then some lace, some wide lace from my evergreen lace dash, some lace up here, and this went all the way around. And as I went around, um, I then topped up this image here and I backed it on some pink card and distressed it. And um, from there, I put an applique on and just filled it with loads of flowers and um, everything. So this flower is handmade. And you can see this gorgeous bling and it kind of reminded me of the bling on top of that crown. So I put that there and then I made some more flowers here and there's flowers in the back on the spine so the flowers almost cascade from the edge to the front and I've tied loads of little um, bows with ribbon and trims and added some bling and these blings are actually uh, from a large brooch that I've just snapped up into little pieces some vintage pearls, all the pearls in this um, in all the flowers are all vintage pearls and um, this is the front again and you can see there's a really nice applique in the back with sequins and this one if I'm not mistaken is from the bead fairy one from Lynn which I bought a while ago and then on the back here is a large beaded applique that I got from Crafty Nita and I purchased a few of those and it has the dangles which cascade again at the bottom that looks really nice and um, over here I've got some fabric sprays with leaves, a tiny flower that I made, another bling, some more bling in the centre of this one. And that's about it. And I tied a little bow here with some um, seam binding and then I've distressed it with some gesso and there's another handmade flower there. And in the corner here I've added, um, this is actually not an applique, it's a trim. So I added this here and the same on the top there so that's how it looks at the front the side which is really really nice and there's the back okay and the profile on the top looks like this this is the side where it opens there's the bottom so where it opens I wasn't going to put this ribbon <clears throat> Excuse me, and this is a vintage organza um, large ribbon. And I decided to put this on because um, as I was finishing, it was just getting wider and wider and I wanted it to stay nice and secure and, you know, where it would stand and not just open up. Just give me one second, guys. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I didn't want it to open up. And so... Hence, I decided to use this. So it just opens up simply undoing the bow. And you can see I've just um, stitched it on the edge here and here. And then I also glued in parts as well just to make it extra secure. And then I'm going to open up to the first page. This is what it looks like. So sorry about the lighting. It's just such a dull day. <clears throat> so um, I'll zoom in a bit. So this is the first page, again, all the flowers are fabric and this one is made using some pleated organza. This is just a fabric flower here. Some vintage doilies that I've made into little flowers. Um, some beautiful blinged out pearl trim that I recently purchased and this is so, so sparkly. And again, just layers and layers of um, vintage doily edging and bridal applique and the edge is just some lace that I've just laid up a few different ones and on the top here is just um, a half doily edging which is really really nice and there's a gorgeous image and this is just um, a page where it just looks um, nice, it's not uh, functional in any way, it's just a very pretty looking page. And on the base of this page, I've put this large fabric organza fabric that Trisha, who's a little shabby chic, sent me last year. I think it was my birthday, so I've used that there. 
and then on this side I've used this really lovely cut out of a hem on the edge and it's got really nice pearls on there and then this large piece of applique here with a handmade flower by me some more bling and another handmade flower by me and this is actually a pocket and this comes out this is what the page looks like and when this comes out you get this and this is to put pictures in so um, it's got three pages there and this is the back so this is um, really nice for pictures or journaling if you want to make it like a diary and up here I've got some vintage edging just hanging off the edge so those are one and two going over got these pages I'll start on this one large handmade flower with this um, this rose that is like from recollections and again it's fabric some more of that beautiful applique here and up here I've just tied a bow and added some organza a bit of bling in the center of that bow and this flips open like this for photos let to zoom out and this is what that looks like and there's the top and I've just added some layers of organza and some fabric and at the bottom you can see it's just like this so the, um, the layers show through each page which is nice and then this side I've got another cute image and I've added some lace up here this is a Jolie's flower that Elise sent me. Thank you, Elise. Um, some beautiful organza rosette trim. Uh, another wide um, hem. And this has got sequins in, as you can see. It's nice and sparkly. And this is an arty cake, which I've just um, put some tiny little doily centers on. Just leave that hanging there, which gives it a nice look. And this flips open for picture and journaling. Then onto this page, which is really nice. It's one of my favourites, actually, this one. And um, this is just full of this vintage, um, I don't know what to call it. It was like a place mat. And it's just really gorgeous and floral. And what I did, I just took it on both the pages and then flip this bit back to make this pocket, this is a pocket, and then um, cinched it here to make it look like a bow pocket. Added one of my handmade flowers, and yes, this is made by me. I'm so proud of my flowers. And then some vintage lace, some pearl hoops, and um, it comes out like this. And you can see this is what I'm talking about. It's really, really nice. And um, I'll just give you a close up. That's the fabric. Okay, and then inside I've made this like a little pocket um photo holder thing. And I've just got a tiny bit of glue here. And I've got this tiny image of um oh I forgot her name, sexy Annabelle, I think her name is, and she's just so so adorable. And she's so so perfect and shabby and girly girl. So I've just added some vintage lace um, on top of this card and um, added a handmade flower with um, bling in the centre and this pink applique heat. And again, I've distressed the edges, as you can see. And I have printed these on um, really good quality HP uh, photo paper because um, I wanted it to be a functional, um, sturdy mini and it's come out really gorgeous and this is the inside of that is so perfect for large pictures or journaling and that just goes back in there and that's why I put the flower here because um, the image is almost covered so I needed something there then onto this page um, again completely yummy with the pearls and the bling another handmade flower yay 
And you know what? These flowers are inspired again by Var because she sent me some gorgeous flowers. Thanks, Var. Um, but I can't use them because they're just way, way too gorgeous and special. So I decided to just make some. So Var, let me know what you think of my flowers, girl. And um, large applique, fully loaded with beads and pearls. Some more bling down here. And this pocket is made out of um, a vintage doily. And then up here, I left it open so I can add um, some pictures. So this is just a pocket and it's got another one of these in. And again, I've distressed the edges. And this pink card is really, really nice. It's like a vintage kind of uh, pink. Really, really lovely shade of pink. And it just went really well with the images and everything. So I decided to put that there. And that's it on that page. And there's the edge with some vintage lace and um, that's it on that one then the next page is this one again handmade flowers um, and some lace some um, dangly lace at the bottom here some um, trim here with um, be um, pearl beads and up here I've got an outer cake some lace from my friend D, I I love this so, so much. And it's like um, organza with the embroidery. And this is so cute because this arctic cake, I'm gonna zoom in. Oops. <clears throat> this arctic cake, um, again, I think D sent me this one and it says, once upon a time, lived happily ever after. So um, it's not like a finished story. And it says, I'm still working on my fairy tale, the end. And then what I decided to do is just make a tiny little booklet. So I made a tiny little booklet with Miss Annabelle as the front cover. This is the back. And then inside I've just got pages and pages. So it's perfect for like a little diary um, or anything really. So that goes in here. And this is an antique piece of lace edging. If I can get it in. Okay, so Miss Annabelle sits nicely in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's that page and you can see the flowers and everything that I made. And this um, I really love because all I did was just um, put some hot glue and then drop some vintage pills in there. And it stayed really nice. So I didn't have to do any stitching on that. And then this is a rolled rose I made with some bling. And um, I just had fun making flowers. In fact, um, I think I made all the flowers in one go. And then when I made my album, I just picked my flowers out and added them where I needed them. Then there's this page. And this isn't a functional page. It's just a look pretty page. <clears throat> and on this page, just fix this a bit. On this page, you can see I've used some more of that beautiful fabric that Trish sent me. Um, some of the new bridal applique kind of trim lace um, that I bought recently and you can see it's just really nice and sparkly there's the edge here's the edge of this side again there's another large cut out applique here handmade flower with a beautiful bling and um, this is something that Annie sent me and these are so so gorgeous that Ali sent me and so I did not want to use them but just so gorgeous so it went perfectly thank you so much Elise for these and you need to let me know girl when you got these in stock because I totally want to stock up on these and they're just so so gorgeous and they just sparkle loads so um thanks for those Elise I really love them and Elise is Lisey46 and she has an Etsy which is um Precious by Elise so um, at least please let me know when you have them in stock. So that's that page. And as I said, it's not like a proper functional page. It's just to look pretty page. And this um, here is just stuck on. Okay, then the next page. Nearly done, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is again another look pretty page. And loads of handmade flowers. And this is like a crocheted trim that I used to make this flower. And I've used, for the base of this page, I've used, again, a vintage um, chair back. So I've used it for both these pages and I've just split them up like that. And I've added some 
vintage layers of um, doily and some flowers. So I'm really, really proud of my flowers. And then this cute, cute image up here. That's just so adorable. <clears throat> and um, this doesn't come out, this just stays in there. And then the final page is this one. Um, I've loaded it again with some applique. This bow, this is a bow with a bling center. <clears throat> or slider buckle, should I say. And then some more vintage lace. And this um, edge, I've edged it with some more of this cut out applique or hem, I think it is, from Lynn. And um, these are some more handmade flowers. And this is a large flower from Julie's that Ali sent me. And this comes out, this like a little pocket. And this comes out. And because it was right at the end, I decided to do another little booklet and with pages. And I haven't stapled them, I put um, a ribbon through so um, I can add more pictures. Oh, you know, whoever I give this to can add more pictures if they needed. Pictures or paper for, you know, journaling, writing little notes. And there is also, you know, enough space to put a really cute pen in there, which is a nice idea. A pen can just slip in there or a pencil. So that is it. Really, really gorgeous. And there's the back again. And I'm just going to tie it up, guys. And this is how it looks once, you know, this is when it's open. And it does need tying because otherwise it looks really wide. And I've secured it enough um, with this vintage ribbon so you know I can make it as tight as I want. I'm just going to tie a bow and then that's it. And if I wanted, I mean I've left it like this but I can make it tighter. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Um, so that is it guys, my beautiful um, shabby with a hint of vintage mini album. Thank you so, so much, Marishka, for your images. They're just so adorable and they completely make the album what it is. Um, your style is beautiful. Check out her YouTube channel, guys. And I know we have a language barrier because she is from the Netherlands and she doesn't speak a lot of English. Um, but if you have any questions, message her because she does reply in English, which is great. And, um, you know, you can get your answers from her in English. And um, she's got a few um, tutorials and things on her YouTube channel, which you can go and check out. Um, she does these flip through the books, um, which is great. So you can, you know, look and see what she does. And Va, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I'd be creating this. So thanks so much, girl, for the inspiration. You're just amazing. And um, just love your work and I love your flowers. So um, that's it for now guys, let me know what you think and I'm not sure but I think I might sell this for a very good cause um, but I'm not sure yet but if you are interested let me know, you can email me, um, I'll put my email link, oh not a link, email address below so <clears throat> if I do decide to sell it it will be for a very good cause but I don't know how I'm going to part with it if I decided to do that. So anyway, we'll see what I do with that later on. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment to let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.